Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Binky back today with my Project Pan for February 2020. I can't believe February flew by that quickly. Whew, January was slow and then February was like... Yeah, exactly. So, here's the thing. So, I did do a Project Pan for January and somehow it disappeared. I don't know where it went. Taped it. Copied it. Looked everywhere for it, it disappeared. I don't know. It's out there in the universe somewhere. Maybe the aliens took it and they're watching it and going, what the hell is this? I don't know. I'm not into conspiracy theories, but it's gone. I've looked everywhere. So because of that, I'm missing some products for last month, but that's okay. So basically, I'm going to be showing some pictures for those that are missing. I'm looking at it over there, what I had, I'm like, what did you have? So the first one I'm going to go through is my goal this year is to get through seven's the magic number and I'm trying to get through seven perfumes. Now that sounds crazy, but, and I'll show this as an example, I have many perfumes lying around that have about this much left, just taking up space. So what I'm doing is I'm going and using those and getting them out of the collection because it's just taking up space that I don't, I, 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 I need my space. Okay. I live in New York city. I need space and my, this whole year. Is about kind of transforming my life um, in general, just decluttering, figuring out things. And it's kind of with 2020, a new decade, a new chance for me to really kind of fix things in my life. And that's what I'm doing. And this is part of it. I know it's really deep, but it actually is. <laughs> so I'm really excited about it still. Pu still pushing for 2020. Yeah. So with that being said, I end up getting rid of two perfumes last month. And I'll put the picture and put a star on them. So the first one was from um, the Bath and Body Works, I think it was. They used to have like a velvet vanilla thing. I don't know what it was, perfume. And they do smell good, but this one started becoming cloudy. So I used it, and then I didn't use it for a month, and I came back to it, and it was turning cloudy, which freaked me out. I still have one more of them, and it looks fine, but it was time to get rid of it. It's like, what? what's going on here? So that had to go, and it only had about this much left, so no biggie. And it was fine when I was using it before. I still have one um, that's almost done and it's fine. But the one freaked me out. The other one was, um, I think it was Bloom and Sprinkle that I got. I t this is what I tend to do. With Anthropology. at the end of the holidays, they have great sales, like 40% off. And so I buy all these perfumes that I don't need for like five to seven bucks. And they're great, but I don't need them. I end up with like seven of these. I don't even know where the rest are. I've gotten through two of these. This is another one I'm trying to get through. They smell great. I don't even know what the name is. There's nothing on it. It's just random anthropology. Smells good. So I got another one of those. Sprinkle and Bloom, I think it was. And I ended up using that one, finally. It was just a little cloying. I hate saying this. It was a nice floral scent, but it was a little cheap. Yeah. And so I was really glad to use it. I used it mostly around the house to impress my friends and my kitties and my roommate. That's it. So decluttered those. The other thing that you'll see there is the zero bomb and or the zero bomb because I'm looking here and it's I love bombs for removing makeup. I know some people don't like it. They think it's too thick. I really like it. Just really smooth it in and just get it in there. And to me it really pulls everything off. I enjoy it. It's not for everyone. Um, but I did end up using that, which made me extremely happy. I'm petting my cat because there's a lot of noises, and she's like, what? Um, moving through this a little quickly because it'll be a really long video. If I don't, the other one was the Soap and Glory. The Soap and Glory powder I finally got through. I've been using it for over a year. I really like this powder. I do feel that it did tend to make my face a little cakey, and I don't like that. I like very natural makeup, um, so I was not a huge fan of that. And while I'm saying that, that I love natural makeup, I'm doing a, a test for foundation and I'm looking really orange. So people are like, yeah, sure you do. Looking really orange. Not liking this foundation. You're going to hear me say that in many videos. Cover it up with hair. So I end up using it. I really like it. Would I buy it again? I probably would, but I have so many powders it wouldn't be for many years. And by then I may have found something that works a little bit. You, know, It's very full coverage which is great if you're looking for that, but for me, I'm not. But I really did like the powder quite a bit. Um, I really liked it, but it's still kind of like, it's not my ride or die. So I may revisit it. I don't know. I may find something I like better, but did use that one up. 
I also use two candles. I'm actually burning this one now, and I have a picture there. So that is two candles that are gone already for the year out of the 10. This is the only one that's like 10. Then I'm trying to get rid of, again, that same thing of I will have about this much left, and it takes up room. Just use it. So these are two small candles, and um, I would not buy these again. Um, what is it called? Bel uh, boulangerie? Yeah, I speak some French. I'm learning it. I'm poor, but I try. Um, it's funny, because in France they said, oh, you have a really good accent. I went, you're being so nice. Because <laughs> you see, I know I don't, but thank you. So, I, and I just want to put that out there. They're a lot nicer in France than people make out. Oh, they're terrible. I had no problems. They were absolutely beautiful people, except on the subway system. Whoo! They make New York City look like Disneyland. That was crazy, but that's a whole other thing. So, I wouldn't buy these again. They're really expensive. I'll put the price to the side. I did get them on sale for 40% off, but even still, for such a small size, they're not worth the price to me. Um, the one vanilla and fig had absolutely no throw. It just smells like wax. I'm burning it now. I'm in sadness because it stinks. I wouldn't buy it again. These aren't worth it to me, so they are off the list. And then this one, I actually, oh, my blush, my blush. So the little square blush that you see there, the Misha, boop, I'm probably not hitting it. The Misha, that one I finally got through. You can see that there's a little bit on the sides, but the reason why I got through, decided to get rid of it was, A, I was tired of it after over a year, but part of it is when I'd rub the brush in, it just, you're just hitting the sides. But part of it was that, but for the most part, it was just, I'm tired of it. I'm going to be honest. So it was time to go. So that was January, so I'm going to put these two together. So now I'm going to go through the stuff that I did go through for the month of February. Bear with me. Okay, one's a spoiler because you already see that I did get through a lipstick. Yeah. So how many lipsticks? I want to get through seven lipsticks this year. I don't think that's going to happen. Or three. Was it three? It was three. It was three. Seven's insane. Um, so I did get through it, and it was Cancer the Crab. From the Astrological series, I did end up getting through it. I love this lipstick. I love it. I know a lot of people did not. Everybody liked Taurus. This is almost identical to Taurus with more of a cool pull to it. Almost identical. Taurus is a little bit more neutral warm, while Cancer was a little bit more cool. So, but they're very close to each other. So this one didn't do well, because I think part of it was the look of it looked different on the lips than it did in the tube. And people don't like that, but honestly, I feel like it was so close to that one that people missed out. I have a couple tubes that I got for free. If you bought stuff from Bite Beauty, they gave them to you for free. I don't think I'm going to get through them both because I think eventually they'll go bad, but I'm trying to use another one because I absolutely love this. So I'll probably go on Temptalia and see what the dupe is of this so I could buy it again because this is one of my all-time favorite colors. I miss the fact that it's done and eventually I have to say goodbye to these, but I did get through one of the tubes of the three that I promised I would. So the next one is, you know, let's start with stuff that's not as exciting to many. So hand cream. I want to get through seven hand creams this year. And everybody's like, that's insane. No, it's not. Because again, I have so many of these. And I use them several times a day, even in summer. So the first one is actually Camille Beckman. And this is a smaller one of the hand creams. And I, you can see it's banged up. I use it in my purse um, when I go around. So if I'm on the train, I use disinfectant on my hands, especially these days. Um, all days, because New York City's gross. Um, I'll use the, like antibacterial and then put these on and I still end up getting really extremely sick for three weeks it was crazy not Wuhan just a really crazy cold this is the best hand cream I've ever used hands down the only reason why I'm not ordering it right now is because I have so many hand creams lying around that I need to use that I won't use them if I buy these nothing works as well my hands have been really dry thanks to this poopy weather in New York really cold and dry and I want to order this so badly, but I can't because I have so many hand creams. I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a huge order because their shipping is ridiculous. They never do free shipping. They never do discounted shipping. That's the one thing I don't like about this company. It's like $75. I don't need $75 of hand cream. <sighs> a little bit frustrating, but whatever. They never have sales either. It's like, okay. So Camille Beckman, I will give it that. It does, like, this works well. It's the best thing I've ever used. In fall, I'm going to do an order to hit that damn $75 minimum, and I will spend that much on hand cream. I will, because that will last me for a good two years, and it will be completely worth it. It is that good. It is my favorite, hands down. 
So the next one I tried was Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Hand Cream. Now I'm going to be honest with you, Pacifica is not my favorite brand. I've tried a few of their things, and to be honest with you, they charge high prices for some of the stuff. Not like high, high, but it's still kind of, mmm. And I don't think the quality is quite there. Um, it's okay. I, the, it smells wonderful. It's like coconut nectar, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful smell. I enjoyed using it. The smell's fantastic. That's what I do like about this company is they come up with really unique scents and things. But I don't feel like it was overly moisturizing. Um, I don't think I would buy it again. It's good for summer, but for winter it didn't quite do what it needed to. The next one is Ava, Ava, and it's a Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Now what I will say about these is I got these in a box once for free when I was doing the subscription boxes. and. The scents of these are amazing. The scents are absolutely fantastic on this. And I love these. The scents, they don't work well. They don't moisturize really worth poo. Unless you have really not dry hands. Like if you live in summer and humid weather all the time, then this will work for you. But in New York City weather, northeast weather, if you're in Canada, this isn't going to do anything for you. And so I would apply it. My hands would still feel dry. Wouldn't buy it again, though I love the scents. It totally is not worth it. So the next one is Warm Vanilla. No, we're going to get to this because I have empties at the end. It's an empty. I have these all the time. They're, they're not, I'm not trying to get them out of my collection. So going on the perfume vein, so this is number three that I got through this year. So that means four more. I think I'm easily going to make my, uh, my goal. This is Demeter, and it's Banana Flambe. So I've had these for years. I don't even know when I got them, how they still smell just as they did day one. They've never gone bad. I'm like, I've had these forever. I don't even know. Maybe they were given to me at birth. I don't know. But I've had them for too long. They're fun scents. But it's time to get rid of them. Yeah. So I started using them. I have two. It smells really good. They're vanilla. I loved it. They last really well, surprisingly. I don't know how much they run now. I'll put it to the side. But... I loved it. Would I buy it again? I don't know. Maybe. They're really nice. But if they're really expensive, no. No. But they're really nice if you like natural kind of foodie scents. So then there was this, which is Misha Time Revolution Essential Cream Scrub. Didn't like this. Um, I love I love Misha, but for this it's a scrub, a cream scrub for your face. And I just felt like it left an oily residue on my face. And the scrubs really didn't do anything. They weren't strong enough, so I just had this oily residue that I'd have to then wash my face off again to get this off. So I started using it on my body, but then it left the residue and didn't really scrub my body at all. So then I was like, okay, I'd have to use it and then use soap to get it off. What's the point? So this I would never reorder again. I don't even know if they have it anymore. That's a big thumbs down. Did not like it. So this is another thing from Pacifica, and it is um, a lip balm. I'm trying to get through seven of these. Sure am, because I have a lot of half-used ones. You can see it's down to the nub. This one is chai latte, or it's like a chai uh, lip balm. And it's good. I love the smell. It's, it's Indian chai lip balm, and it's fun. Like I said, they come up with cool flavors, and it was fun. But if you don't like chai, you're not going to want that on your lips. I didn't mind it. I like strong scents. But um, would I buy it again? Probably not. It did moisturize okay. It wasn't bad. There's something you'd use and they don't do anything. This wasn't bad. But it just, it just wasn't my favorite. So I'm glad I used it up. But I probably wouldn't buy it again. Then, Bare Minerals. So here we go. This is something that I've been panning since last year. And even before last year, 2019. And this is what it looks like. Now, yes, there's still product here. But after about a year and a half, I'm ready to let this go because I don't think it's doing me any favors. And I'm just kind of burnt out on it. Um, I'm happy with the progress that I did. I'm happy that I got through it mostly, but I'm ready to move on. And after using these things so, so long, eventually you just kind of get really tired of them. And it's time to go. I didn't like it. That's part of the pro thing, too, is I didn't like this product, and then I'm using it every day for over a year. So, though it serves me well, what I do like is the powder is very, very fine, so it doesn't give you a cakey look, but it's extremely white. 
See what I mean? But then when you rub it in, it's not as bad, but still, it just, yeah, I won't miss that. I'm so glad I'm done with that. So glad I am done with that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go through is empties quickly, just because I'm putting this all together at the end of the year, and I know that that's kind of weird, but I guess this was it. No. Well, I had a NYX liner somewhere, and it's fine. Um, I had two NYX liners that I got through. Um, I'll put it to the side. I got through two of those. I wish they were bigger so that I didn't have to go through them as quickly. They are my favorite eyeliner, actually. Um, though I'm trying to branch out because I have so many and use things before they go bad. And, you know, I'm starting to learn about other products, so that's a good thing, too. But I went through two of these. I've been using them since the beginning of the year. Not a surprise. I love them, so I did get through two of these. Plus, I did end up panning Warm Vanilla. Yes. So, yeah. It's, you know, Bath and Body Works, or Body Shop. And I love these. I will use these all the time. Warm Vanilla is one of my favorites used it beautiful the thing is i could say it's one less thing out of my collection but the reality is i'm just going to keep replacing it because i love it that much so a couple things i am decluttering before i move on to my project pan stuff so this is the um eclipse and it's a korean brand ultra gel eyeliner and i really love this i really excuse me something in my eye i really love this and then it quit working it just, because it's a gel, I think it just stopped. And I wonder if I pulled it off, it would work. Let's see. No, it's not. It's just, it's a goner. It's a goner. Hold the thought. It's just a goner. Because it's a gel, it's just not going to work. And I did use it several times. I'm kind of sad I didn't get to use it more. It was a really great product, but in the end, it's dried. It just doesn't work. So I would not buy that brand again. Again, Eclipse, it's a Korean brand. It doesn't last long enough. You have to use it every day, which I just, I don't have time for that. So the next thing was Lano Lips. I um, ended up getting this in a box, uh, advent calendar. And I don't know if this is full size or not. I still have product in here. And here's the thing, it works really freaking well. This is one of the best lip moisturizers I've ever used. The reason why I'm decluttering this is I found out what it's made of, and it's made of sheep glands. As soon as I saw, read that, because I was like, oh, what is Lano? I had it on my lips, and I read that, and I wiped it right off. It freaked me out. And then they're talking about how they don't, they don't hurt the sheep to get it. It could be a slaughterhouse situation. I don't know. For me, it just didn't make me feel comfortable. I, so I, I, I'm decluttering this. It works excellent. If, if you have dry lips, this is probably going to be the best product for you. I'll give it that. But I just, it, it, it messed with my mind a little bit. So psychologically, I couldn't use that. So the next things that I'm decluttering are these terrible snow melt lipsticks that are on my worst of 2019 from Wet n Wild. One of the worst lip products I've ever used. I only used them twice, and I will never use them again. They taste like Splenda on your lips, and the scent and taste never goes away. So it's pure Splenda all day. It's so powdery, you breathe it in. It goes everywhere. It sucks. These are terrible. Do not buy them. They will put these on sale for $2 probably. Do not buy them. These are crap. They're just terrible. Read the reviews. It's not just me. The reviews, read them. Terrible. No. So I miss out on like $4 a piece. I don't care. Yeah, it's a latte and part of maybe a muffin or something. I don't care. Oh, one of the worst products I've ever used. No. So and I tend to be pretty nice about stuff. I can't be nice about that. And in good conscience, I can't. People need to spread the word. Terrible. So the other thing I'm decluttering is actually something that works quite well. If you've watched my channel, you know I love um, ColourPop's um, highlighters. I think they're really good, actually, exceptionally good, especially for the price. You get them on sale. Excellent. So I finished my Flexitarian. I think, I, I don't know if I put that on here. Actually, it may not be here. So I'm going to put that to the side. I did end up panning Flexitarian already this year. I knew I would. 
I panned it, it's gone. So I had to come up with a new highlighter, which I talked about in the, the last video that is mysteriously missing. So Flexitarian is gone. I'm done with all my um, highlighters from ColourPop, except for the ones from the Kathleen Light Zodiac one. One was too dark, and so I'm thinking of decluttering that just because I'm never going to use it, and I have so many brown eyeshadows, I don't need it for that. So I was going to use On the Cusp, which was the lighter of the two highlighters. And as you can see, it's pretty dark. So I did put a dent in it because I did start using it and then it's just too dark for my skin tone. It really doesn't leave much of a highlight and it's pretty but it does nothing. So I realized that somebody else would use this more than me. It would be happier for somebody else. They would enjoy it. Somebody with like a medium skin tone, you know, or, or, or a deeper skin tone, you know. I, I feel like they, I have something in my eyes, sorry. I feel like somebody would enjoy this better than me trying to force myself to like something. So I'm going to let this go. Both those highlighters in the collection, if you are fair skin, will not work on you. They are way too dark for uh, fair skin people. So you can use them as an eyeshadow or you're out of luck. And I bought that collection and I shouldn't have because I haven't used it at all. And I can't even use two of the highlighters. So that was a poor thing for me to buy, but I love astrological stuff, so I fell for the hype. Fell for the hype. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the stuff that I'm actually trying to pan, and we'll go through it. Okay, let's go through the boring skincare stuff, because I don't think people care about that as much. Um, so I'm trying to use a Miss Shaw oil, and you can see I have this much left. It'll be panned by the end of March, um, easily before then. I don't like this. And I love Miss Shaw products, but this is just terrible. It's this weird oil that when you put it on your face, if it gets in your eyes, it stinks so badly, it makes me cry. So I use it on my face, and then I use my regular balm on my eyes. When it hits water, it turns this weird white color. It's very weird. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, but I'm going to get through it because it does remove my makeup on my face well. It doesn't irritate my face, but I do not like it. The next one is from Neogen, which is fantastic. I'm going through these pads and I actually have some other ones so I'm going to use other different ones because I want to do a review on the three different ones. I've used the green tea and there's like one other one and then there's this. There's several of these. I love these. I freaking love these. I'm going to do a review on these. This is the wine one. It's probably my least favorite of the ones but it's still really good. These pads are so fantastic. There's a nice side that removes the makeup easily, and then you turn it around, there's the one that exfoliates. It is absolutely fantastic, and it has a hole in it where you can put your fingers in there and then do it this way. This is one of the best products I have. I freaking love it. I will buy it again once I pan these easily. So then, the next items was put here that I've been working through, that I think I'll get through next time, is maybe not the Dr. Brandt, but Dr. Brandt Port. Debrasion. I've had this before. It's really good. It works really well. It's gentle enough depending how hard you scrub. So you can go gently and it'll remove the skin or you can really go in there and get and get it done. But take it easy, you know, especially in the eye area and stuff. But I really like this stuff and I got it in like boxes when I used to do the subscriptions. The other one is the Ole Henriksen and this is the Volcanic Pore Facial Scrub, Sauna Scrub. I'm going to do a review on this one as well. It's interesting because you put it on your face and it warms up and it's supposed to open your pores. It doesn't have enough time to do that. It doesn't, but it does exfoliate, but I feel like you have use a lot of product and I don't, I'm really mixed on this. I think it's more of a novelty item than it really is a practical item, so I probably wouldn't buy that again. Spoiler. This is in this free white tone up sleeping pack. I don't really like this. You're supposed to use it in your sleep, but it is so watery that if you did, it would get all over your sheets and everything while you're sleeping. No. What I do is after I do masks and scrubs and my face is dry, I will put this on it because it's moisturizing and it also is, it's good for moisturizing and it's good for brightening. So I'll put this on or, you know, in the shower while I'm doing other stuff, let it sink in and then wipe it off. But it is so runny, don't like it. Would not repurchase. Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. This stuff is great, but Neogen has products that I like better. I like theirs a lot better. Claire's is really great, but it does smell medicinal, so you know what you're getting with it. It's not clouded with scents to make you go, ah, it smells medicinal. Works really well. I love the foams. It works really well on my skin. It's, Claire's is really good for uh, rosacea and very sensitive skin, which I have, and it works beautifully. I just don't like the scent, and um, it's a really small bottle in comparison to Neogen, which is 
better of the two, in, in my opinion. They both work just as well. I just like the scents better, and you get more bang for your buck. The next one is Tree Hut Shea and Body Butter. Getting there. Don't like this as a body cream, as I don't feel it's as moisturizing as the Body Shop, but I love this as a hand cream. So I keep this out and use it as a hand cream, because it works better than these other duds that I used. Hell yeah. So then, the other thing is... Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream by Dr. Jart. Is it Siskapar? I don't know. I'm almost done with this. I think it may go through April, but I love this. And I'm going to be doing a review on this, but I have a backup bottle. I don't know if I would use this of... Um, I was just reading the back. I don't know why. I got, I'm like, oh. So I, this is supposed to be for calming your skin and for rosacea. I do think it does help with that, but what I like is that it puts like a barrier on your face almost and it keeps it protected like against wind and the weather outside. So I wouldn't do, use this during the summer, it maybe wouldn't be needed, but during the winter and fall this is great because it just protects the skin and it doesn't break me out. It's just amazing and it does help with the redness. It's just this, during the colder months I would use that all day every day. Okay, so on to the fun stuff, uh, which is the makeup. I mean, I think the skincare is too. The reason I'm showing that is to show what things I'm going through that I'm actually getting out of that huge box. And every month I'll continue to do that because I have quite a lot of stuff. And yeah, this shows me that there's an end of the light of the tunnel. <laughs> so it's a good thing. So the next thing is going to be makeup. And um, I have weighed some of this. Some of the stuff I have not weighed. And what I'll do is I'll put to the side what the weight is because I don't know right offhand. Um, it won't be for the perfumes and stuff, I don't think. But the one from Anthropology, here it is. This is the one that I'm focusing on next, and this is how much is left. Um, I could definitely get through this probably by the end of the month, and so I'm happy about that, and then I can start on the next one. I really have probably about 20, 25 perfumes laying around. It's crazy. It really is crazy and frustrating, and so I can't be buying any more of those. I really can't. So, the next items, sorry, kind of disorganized, trying to hurry through this. So, here's the thing. With the highlighter, I don't have a new highlighter picked. I want to go through my highlighters today and figure it out. Um, because I really expected to go through that one on the cusp, but it just didn't work for me. So, now I have to find a new one that I want to pan. And part of it is I also won't get through it this year because I want to use my other ones. I was so focused on those ones from ColourPop that I never was able to use other ones that I wanted to. So I want to experiment more and bring one in that will have some progress, but I want to actually enjoy my collection. So that's the thing to take into consideration. So the next one is Cover FX. I have started using this. I have not used the Physician's Formula. I'm not going to really go in on this too much because honestly, I just started. So I'm going to weigh this and put a starting weight to that. And then um, we'll I'll also do that with the new um, highlighter I use. Though in the end, like I said, meh. Okay, the next thing is the Makeup Forever. This thing is still going strong. I only use it on my eyelids because it broke apart on my face. Every time I'd use it on my face, it would break apart. It looked like the continents, you know, when they started to drift apart from each other. That's what it looked like on my face. So it's definitely lighter. I think I did weigh this. If not, I'll weigh it. But it's getting towards the end. I think it will last through the rest of the year because if you're only using a small dot on your eyelids, it's going to last a long time. But no matter what it is going this year. So the next thing is the blushes. So I ended up swapping out one of the blushes, but it doesn't matter because you didn't see it. Maybe you did see it. Maybe it was in the original, but it was too bright of a color, and I was like, I'd just rather use it on its own. So with the one that I was using from Miss Shop Forever, if you've been watching my channel, I've been mixing it with Rimmel. And this is Rimmel Berry, and I have made a huge dent in there. I don't know if you can see it from this angle, this angle, but there's a dent. For some reason, I really like that area. And the emblem, except for the top, is almost completely gone. So this one I'm making excellent progress in. It is a little bit darker. I like this in the fall and the winter and the first part of spring. But I find that it's a lot more palatable when I use this Eclipse, which is a Korean brand. And this is, um, I don't know what the color is. It is in Korean. I do read Korean, but it doesn't mean I know what it says. I'm learning it. Um, and so what I do is I mix these two together because this is so ridiculously light. It's ridiculously light. I don't know who's using this or how. 
and I have fair skin. This is going to look really ashy on people. Um, I don't really understand it. I do love Korean blushes because they tend to work really well on my fair skin, but this is too much. So what I've been doing is, because this could be too dark for my liking, I don't like dark blush, um, I know, I'm an odd one, I mix these two together and it is beautiful. So I'm going to work on panning both of these, it'll probably go into next year, but damn, they are both fantastic. I am a happy woman. So the next one is uh, the Kiko Milano number two, because I have two of these. I bought two by accident, and I love them because this is like my favorite peachy blush of all time. I love this. I love this, <laughs> but I just, I, you know, I, I, I've been using it a lot. I, I don't know why I paused, like I was going to say something bad, because I'm not. It's excellent. Why I went there, I don't know. But you can see there's huge dent in this. I've been using this up. And what I like about these blushes is that they're small. They're not these huge pans. Anyone can get through this, this in a year. I love Kiko Milano. It's just smart, and this is perfect. There's a big dent in this. I could get through this at the end of the year. This is my favorite warm tone blush that I own, pretty much, except for like one of the Too Faced ones. So as far as the lipsticks go, um, I pan Cancer the Crab, as I said I would. The, these are going to be going in retirement soon because we're going into spring in the next month, uh, even before then. Maybe I'll get this video afterwards, but it still is going to feel like winter. So that being said, I don't know how much more I'm going to be using these, but this is old and I have to use it this year. Still smells good, but eventually this is going to go bad. This is mistletoe. This is a couple years old. Um, it's just hard because I don't use the same red over and over. I don't even know if this is one of the originals I was trying to pan. It may not be. But, so maybe I'm just wasting your time. Let's throw that over there. The next one was, um, oh, Movement. And I think this is like old. This is really old. <laughs> I don't even want to say how old it is. It still smells good. I've had a spoiled one before. I've had um, a Bite Beauty lipstick that was spoiled and it smelled awful. Like bad. This is still good. It smells as fresh as it did the first day. This is from 2016. So it's three years old. Um, because we just, well, it's going in four. Yeah. It still works, guys. I know you're like, gross! But it there's no change in it, and it absolutely works. And the smell, fine. Taste, fine. Who am I to argue? This is fantastic. I love this. There's probably no way I'm ever going to get through it. But I love this thing, and it probably will go <laughs> eventually. But right now it's still good, so I'm not going to argue it. I'm not going to argue it. You can think I'm gross. It's fine. I can live with that. So as far as the four shadows, um, I only have to live with myself. That's right. So the four shadows that I'm working on, I know everybody's like, are you serious? I am serious. I don't plan to pan any of these but the Honey Palette. Um, but I have been working on these, not so much the Lorac. Um, this one broke, it fell and it broke, but I have been working on this one quite a bit, and this one, and then this one. And you can see dents in some of these, but really it's not worth talking about as much. I knew this one would be the one that I would neglect the most. The other one I've been working on is Zoeva. And I'm pretty proud with this one, not that I'm going to get through this one as well, but you can see like these two, especially this one's almost done, and there's dents in these, and then you can see here and here that I have been really using those. These five particularly, I'm pretty proud of. I'm making dents in these. I'm using it because what's happening is I'm using a lot more individual shadows, and that's making a huge difference because then I have to bring in a palette. So I'll use one of these, and so I am indeed getting through this. I think I did weigh this. You'll see that to the side. The next one is the Natural Matte. Now with this one, my goal isn't to use this one this year. It's more to use these guys. So what I've been doing with this, where I've been using this with other palettes, this is going to be the new Honey Palette, because no matter what, I'm getting rid of this at the end of the year. This is going to be that new one. So. First, I'm going to pan these two because what I do is I use them to prep my eyes. You can see there is a big divot in there. And this one's a little bit dark, so I would use that just in the crease. But I'm going to use these over time. And what I mean by that is a honey palette. If you've been with me a long time, you know that I used this all last year. I mean, I use other palettes. I use this in conjunction with it. 
So I used all these, panned these. I did remove a couple because I didn't like the shades. I just popped them out. I didn't want them to be there to stress me out. And I went, I'm never going to use these. Bye. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth. Even in a palette, if you don't use everything, don't feel badly about it. You're not going to use every color. I know I don't. Like when people put blacks in palettes, I just want to pop them out right now because I'm never going to use them and they make me angry. I may do it with that Zoeva one. I don't know. But I popped out a couple shades in here because they weren't good and I didn't like them. So they weren't good quality. Why keep them in there and frustrate yourself? So I popped them out. Nothing wrong with that. You're not going to use every shadow the same. Not every shadow is created equally. So this is what I've been doing. So I'm kind of strange. I'm not really a brow girl. I don't really care. I probably should don't care. I'm really with low maintenance. Like some people like they have a really good beauty routine and they just like with the bronzing and with the eyeshadow or the eyebrows and everything contouring. That's too much for me. I am like, I was a big tomboy growing up. This is the best you're going to get from me. <laughs> it's like, I'm not really big into that. I want to be boom out the door in 30 minutes to 40 minutes. I, I just do. That's me. So that being said, what I do, and that's why these look weird. I will fill in my brows a little bit. They're not that bad. You know, I have decent brows and then I guess, and then I will fill them in where they need to because you lose hair sometimes. And I'm like, wait, where did that happen? Got a little bald. And you're like, what? But it grows back. It's very strange. It's like any other hair, I guess. So then I fill in my eyebrows with these two colors and then put a brow gel and I'm good. So you can see this bad boy, I gotta be careful because eventually it'll break on the side and it'll all drop out. But this one's really, they'll be done by the end of the year. And then this guy, this was like my favorite color of the palette actually, is um, this color which is, uh, God, I can't even read it. Oh, Feeling Nutty. I thought it said Fanny, Fatty, Fanny Nuttin. And I'm like, whoa. Um, this one's great. This one's great for crease color under the eyes. I love this color. This color is amazing. So yeah, so that is my project pan this month. So I've made some progress. I have a lot of things that I can recycle. Like I said, I recycle everything with uh, the Garnier program and TerraCycle. Fantastic. And I am so happy. A lot of the stuff I'm getting through, I'm going to start pulling out more skincare stuff to do more masks. Um, I have been neglecting that. I am not going to be neglecting that in March, so I'm going to be choosing like three or four products that I really want to use and start getting through them because I really want to get through that box. I am so happy with the progress that I'm making. I really am, and I'm going to start decluttering things. That's why I added the decluttering here is because certain things aren't working and I don't need them. It's a waste of my space and it's a waste of the makeup. It should go to somebody who's going to love them, not be hoarded. So what I will do is I'll swatch these things as reference and then I'm going to let them go. And that's my goal this year. That way I can, you know, do comparison videos with color swatches side by side to show you things that are dupes and things because a lot of the time you don't need the stuff. I know I don't. And I'm so proud of myself. I feel like the first year was kind of a flop. Last year I was still kind of learning the ropes. This year I'm getting it. And it makes all the difference in using your collection and knowing what you need and what you don't. And it just, it's smart. And I like being smart. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, that is my project pan for February 2020. Let me know how you are doing if you are doing it. Have you used some of these products? What are your thoughts? Let me know. And until next time, have a fabulous day, my friends. Bye.